hello and welcome back to my channel darling plays games so today we are in the sims 2 and we are going to be building in starry vale so i'm so happy to actually be getting back into starry vale again it's been a hot minute so i'm excited to get back and start building again and kind of figure out um all of the controls again the reason why i haven't been filming um starry vale as much is because i've been having some technical issues but i've gotten them sorted out and I've gotten a brand new mic, so hopefully everything is a lot better and everything kind of runs smoothly. But for now, we're back in The Sims 2. So today we're going to be continuing building the neighborhood and we're going to be actually building the art gallery that's in the neighborhood. So the last time, I think a couple months ago, I put a poll up on YouTube and I had you guys vote for which venue you wanted to see next. And so the lot type that you guys mostly requested was the apartments and then we did those so now we're doing the second most voted option which was the art gallery so we're gonna get into the art gallery now but first i want to show the owner of the art gallery here she is she's a beautiful sim and her name is tanya whitaker but she's supposed to be an artsy like kind of cool like too cool for this town kind of girl uh, but she moved here probably I guess like her story would be like she moved here from the big city and she wanted us to bring art and culture into a small like not as populated area so that's what she is doing here and so for the idea that i had for the art gallery was to fill it up with a lot of like the actual build paintings and then have her do some paintings too because i was thinking that the home business options that we have there's one that i think you can set admission price so that's what we would do like set an admission price and then just have people kind of come in and then we can also display her paintings too so we're gonna go into this with pure vibes i have not looked up a reference i have no idea what i'm doing um but we're gonna just go ahead and see what feels right. So off the bat, I'm thinking of something modern. I feel like I used a modern idea for the cafe next door that you can see right there, but I'm kind of thinking I want something modern, but at the same time, I'm thinking, do I want to do something suburban converted to modern, like the way that i think the bakery is and the way the other builds are so i'm gonna start off with a square and just kind of build my shapes around that I, so we're gonna do something like that there i'm thinking maybe like a side bit there i think yeah we're gonna blend the modern and the traditional house type together because i still want it to look like it's actually a part of the world i think the back is going to be a little more flat this was to be an american town and usually if you aren't from america a lot of suburban houses are really pretty in the front and then the back is just like a mess like it's just a flat mess so usually when i'm making like apartments i want to put down tiles and i want to see how the furniture fits because i want to know exactly what i should be doing like what is the scale um what i should be doing let me figure out this layout i'll come back in a second let me just figure out what i'm doing here all right so i think i found a much better layout bathroom bedroom other bedroom and i hope that that works <laughs> i'm feeling like her colors are red she gives me like cool red vibes Let's see what front doors do they have but let me see what kind of windows are we gonna do I think this this is that window set that it comes in like this red. I think that's really cool. I think these are the windows. I can't tell. I think they are. And I'm gonna say that she got this house and just kind of painted the windows and redid everything herself. So I think this actually looks kind of nice. All right, so the roofing is done and now I'm gonna finish up doing some of the outside. You know, I know that I've said before that The Sims 2 is very limiting, but 
but it wasn't much of a complaint because I actually like how limiting The Sims 2 is. Um, I tried to do like the hold down alt so that way everything could move in place, but it didn't work obviously because this is The Sims 2, but I think that I like that. Like I kind of like the fact that The Sims 2 is limiting because it is such a challenge. I'm thinking maybe we do like a white and then I'll do some stone. I'm feeling, I'm feeling stone vibes for this house. I feel like these other houses haven't been as colorful. So this is something a little different and I feel like it suits her cool vibe. And I think I'm gonna put a bathroom down here just because I know Sims always have to pee. Oh, I do not like the color of that blue on the inside. I did not see that. Let me fix that immediately. All right, so let's actually do some flooring what the flooring is gonna look like because i just put down that wooden one as a placeholder and let me see what kind of paint that we're gonna use and we might be here all day so i might have to like cut this little part short i don't know i feel like the worst part of the sims 2 it might be the flooring um Hmm, should we change like the whole vibe and aesthetic to like dark green? How crazy would that be? Let me see. What can we do here? Okay, to my devastation, you cannot place paintings on diagonal walls. I can't stand this game. <laughs> I'm joking. I love this game so much. But let me just see what I'm going to be putting up here. This kind of reminds me a lot of the um, Sims three museum build that i did a few months ago i think so this that was a really fun build i so enjoyed doing that okay so i went ahead and put in some windows all around the build and i actually changed the fence around the back because i figured like this is probably a public space and she values her privacy i changed that around and i just put the wallpaper everywhere it might not exactly stay this wallpaper but it's a good place her just for right now so let me add some of the paintings so like I said earlier I'm thinking about doing a few paintings like these paintings like the game paintings and then adding a few of her paintings I think I might have things kind of divided into like classical art and modern art I did that in the sims 3 museum build that I did that one I had everything kind of like divided up into sections so I might just do the same thing there oh maybe this could be on the other side of this why aren't these paintings all the same height why are those paintings super tall for no reason put that there i need a three wide painting now which i don't think i'm gonna find but that's fine yeah so i think that the story behind her is that she's probably like an art collector or she's just really artsy and like i said before she's from the city and she probably just moved to the small town maybe she like had enough like you know one of those uh, lifetime movies that she kind of just had enough with the whole city and maybe she wanted to get away from something or just like want to start brand new and so she ended up moving to suburbs and she's just trying to bring a little bit of art and like understanding to Starryvale and trying to like educate people on art and like creative stuff because this town is super super small so she feels like the need to just like educate people on how cool art can be so maybe we can actually put some art stuff here that would be really cool to like encourage people to draw and to have fun with it um and i think this wall i'm gonna leave it empty just so that we can have her stuff there um i'm thinking maybe should we put like a desk or something not a desk but like a front desk there does this come in a green no of course not why would it <laughs> um we can put that there let's get some plants because you know i love me a good plant and put that there i actually like those plants for this build let's actually start building the top floor because i feel like i've done what i can do with the bottom floor yeah i think that's gonna be the kitchen area over here so we'll have kitchen over here and then these are the two bedrooms and then that is the bathroom i'm not really sold oh wait actually i like this flooring a lot better i was just gonna say i'm not really sold on the flooring here i think i want to change that banister because i don't like the way i don't like the color of it so i'm gonna change the banister so here we have the kitchen i'm gonna put some tiles in i think these kind of suit the vibe so let's get a half wall there i'm thinking maybe we can do like a little breakfast table there and then have the cabinets and stuff along 
this wall. You know, it would actually be pretty cool doing something like that. And it gives the area a lot more light. So I think we're going to keep that like that. Like, do I want to go dark? Or I actually like that wood. Or should we do the vibe green up here? Every time I say something, I always like backtrack immediately afterward. I kind of like that. I think that looks kind of cool. I'm just curious. What would this look like with the wood? Ooh, so we're going to keep that. So let's pick out. I kind of like these. And they have the wood in the back, which kind of goes with everything. I just saw the arcade stuff. And um, I'm going to be building an arcade probably in the next video. Because I wanted there to be like a teen hangout aside from diner which is also kind of like a teen hangout and there's like get her nice tv in here and i'm thinking what kind of couch are we gonna have i like that wood i actually kind of like that brown color i think i'm gonna keep it i think that's fine um i don't like the color of the glass can i change that um and let's see what kind of lighting Ooh, we should get one of those big ones because that one actually lit up the room pretty well Ooh, let's get a stereo in here because she is definitely listening to some good music we should put some art in the back wall right here here, so let me put something all right now let's move on to her bedroom the sims 2 was for really a product of its time like i said it earlier but it really was because some of the colors on these bed sheets are just like absolutely horrendous let's put a wardrobe in here let's get like a mirror in here and let's put some art up here as per usual actually this is coming out really nice and let's put a plant here i really like this plant i never know when to use it but i I feel like maybe we could use it like maybe she can have it somewhere in here yeah so i think her bedroom is done let me just put some curtains here i kind of like that purple i feel like it adds a little bit of color to the room all right now let's work on her hobby room so maybe we can use the same curtain that desk is nice but let me see what colors it comes in and maybe a little table with some of the art supplies on it these that one is perfect maybe we could also put a phone in here i don't know she's a very important businesswoman, so she needs a phone in every room oh i I need a smoke detector because that is important and i always forget to put a smoke detector in every house i have i'm pretty sure like most if not all of the houses in this town don't have a smoke detector and that is totally my fault <laughs> Um, ooh, I kind of like that. I feel like that goes with the vibe. I was thinking maybe I should take this and put this in the office and then move this a little along to that side. Little decorations we can put. Oh, definitely this. I think this is actually pretty good. Usually when, oh, the bathroom. I didn't, I forgot I have to do the bathroom. Now I was going to do the bathroom off camera, but I figured since I'm here, I might as well. And let's get in a shower get this but i'm gonna change the wood to a tile i've always loved these round sinks i think they're so pretty so we can just put these in here and let's find a mirror to put in here maybe we just get two of these plain ones and then just put them like that and usually once i finish so like i fully furnished everything i go back and i look through the details section the decor section that's i just kind of go through everything that's there i wish that the other sims games had these i can't remember if the sims 3 has it i don't think so um i'm thinking maybe this is really nice i don't i want to put this somewhere but i don't know like exactly where to put it it does add a nice touch not ideal but i think it's really pretty so let's just just put it there maybe some hanging plants we can do oh we could have these this umbrella wrapping put that there now let me go down and see if there's anything i want to add i think i'm gonna add a few things over here like maybe a few plants and stuff like that okay so i think i'm pretty much done with the interiors and i'm gonna try to finish up like the outside like let me just do a bit of terrain paint all right so here we have the art gallery and i love doing these big like suburban house builds and then having the businesses underneath i don't know it's such a fun idea i think it's so cool so we're gonna do a nice little tour starting with the first floor which is the art gallery all right so you come in through here here is the front door of course and i'm gonna go nice and slow here so this is the front door area this is like receptions area it's a very small little gallery i feel like even though she's loaded and she has like a bunch of money obviously you can only do so much with the space that you're given so she kind of just like gutted the entire downstairs of this building and did what she could and kept up a few walls to kind of put the paintings on 
on. There's a few chairs here. There's only a few people, like there's not many people living in Starry Vale, so like obviously she's not gonna have a huge museum like full of people. Um, and here are a few of the paintings that we have here. Somewhat separated, but mostly, I'm not gonna lie, I just kind of like went on pure vibes. In the back, I included a few easels, so that way um, part of her story is that she's encouraging the community to create art and she's trying to bring this like artistic culture to the Starryville community. So there's a few easels out back that she bought right here and Sims can come and practice their painting if they want. Here are a few more seating areas. Here is the bathroom and this wall over here is empty because she's gonna be painting and putting up her own paintings on this wall. Mostly it's art that she's like acquired and bought and she kind of puts up but she also likes to put up her own paintings for other people to see. Here is the door that leads upstairs to her apartment. There's also this door that leads out back to the garden area which I would imagine that she walled off for privacy reasons of course. There's just a little basic garden area. Not much going on because I don't feel like she's the person to have a whole bunch of guests over and everything as we've established. I think she's pretty much not like a hermit, but she keeps to herself. So going upstairs, you come in through there. Here is her apartment. Here's the living area. I think that we did a really good job on this. Um, I think that it came out really nice. I liked working with the brown tones because usually for living rooms, my favorite go-to color is like yellows and blues. Um, but I think the brown really worked well in this apartment and I love Love. even though I struggled with the flooring for like 30 minutes <laughs> I really love the the way the dark flooring kind of fits in this build and here is the small little kitchen area a little dining area there not really big because she doesn't have any kids and I would imagine she's just kind of like I said a loner through here we have her bedroom which I think came out pretty nice as well I added that like hint of purple in to kind of bring in some color I thought it tied in well with like these paintings on the wall because it it was looking very mute with the browns and everything which is nice but I thought it was nice to also have some color on the wall and on the curtains and if you go out through here and you come in through here here is her home office where she has her computer her arts and crafts stuff there phone and her easel and obviously her workspace where she does all her paintings and everything. And I I love this plant so much. I'm like obsessed with this one little plant. I just never really get to use it in any place because it's like huge and it looks like a giant Jurassic Park plant, but it, it's super pretty and I thought it fit really well in this build. And here is of course just a little tiny bathroom. I finally was able to use these plant curtains that I've been like dying to use. Not totally ideal for when you're in the bathroom and you're like butt naked and getting out the shower, but I think it looks really nice and I couldn't fit it in any other place in this apartment so it's just gonna go there and that is her entire apartment so let's just go back out so I am so happy to be back and doing Starry Vale again I really missed the series and like I said I haven't been able to do it because of technical issues but I've gotten that um, all sorted out got a new mic got um, everything kind of fixed and ready and it's already raining in Starry Vale as I'm talking and it's getting dark in Starryville as I'm talking but yeah um so thank you guys so much for your support and thank you guys so much for your feedback in the polls that I've put up it really means a lot and I love to hear from you guys what exactly you want to see and the overwhelming like consensus was that everybody wants to see more Sims 2 videos and that's totally fine with me I love doing Sims 2 videos but I will also be throwing in Sims 3 content and Sims 4 content every once in a while too because I do enjoy those two games so yeah thanks again you guys so much so much for watching and for liking and subscribing um this channel has gotten a few subscribers um like a little subscriber boom in the past couple weeks which I so greatly appreciate and we're almost at 500 subscribers which is totally crazy to me I feel like I'm rambling but I just am really appreciative for all of your support so thank you guys so much I hope you enjoyed this video let me know what you guys want to see in the comments if you'd also like to see something else outside of Starry Vale for The Sims 2, like some kind of other building that's not planned that I already have for this town, let me know what you want to see. So I will see you guys in the next video and until then, bye!